New tonight at 6, a school district which suffered the tragic loss of a beloved teacher now hoping a state grant can help keep others safe. If approved, the money would be used to make improvements to a parking lot and nearby road at Rahm Middle School and High School. Some say dangerous. News 8's Tina Detail explains. It was in this area here that Dawn Mallory was killed after a parent dropped off a student and then backed up and hit her. Now, since then, changes have been made, like adding these Jersey barriers, so cars can no longer drive through here. This is simply a parking lot with a dead end. Drop off for Ram Middle and High School students is now only right in front of the schools. There are also temporary speed bumps and new speed humps controlling cars. Changes made after 65-year-old Dawn Mallory was killed in March 2014. We worked on this parking lot down here. Superintendent Robert Siminski is hoping the state bond commission approves a $1.3 million grant, which would pay for improvements to keep traffic flowing and students and staff safer, like widening this driveway. So that if somebody wanted to go left, um, the people who wanted to go right wouldn't queue behind that person. It would also add a traffic signal to a crosswalk on Wall Street and improve the nearby intersection of routes 316 and 66, where a student was killed in a car crash that same year. It really um, had an impact on staff, let me just say it that way. RAM is made up of students from Heber and Andover and Marlboro. I always think that uh, the state should take a role in some of these uh, larger ticket items that are almost impossible for small rural towns to manage. Senator Kathy Austin says if funding is approved, she hopes construction can begin next spring or summer. When they vote, then we can really start cheering. If the money is approved on Friday, the superintendent says even though it might be nice to have more green space at the end of this parking lot, he may just keep these Jersey barriers so the money can be used to make other safety improvements. In Hebron, Tina Detell, News 8.